guys, Trey here from Innovative Sportsman. Today I'm going to show you the new features of our new rock guard that we've come out with for the NK300 and the Torquedo 1103. We're going to go through the new features, what we've changed, and we're also going to go over how to install it. The installation will be the same for the Torquedo 1103 and the Newport NK300. So let's get into it. So first thing that you'll see when you open your box is you'll see this set up right here. You'll have a profile clamp, which is very similar to our previous profile clamp, uh, the stainless steel grass blaster. It's the, pretty much the same. You'll notice that this is a little bit different than the previous gusset. And you'll also notice that there are no prongs on this rock guard. So we'll go over that, those prongs. We'll go over those in a second. Um, you'll see we're using the same hardware. One of the upgrades that we have made is you'll see in there, these are not stainless steel helicoils like they were before. Uh, what we've noticed with the helicoils is eventually they do fail. Um, we've had to warranty a bunch of those. And by all means, if you've had issues with yours, if you have a previous rock guard and you've had issues with the helicoils, please reach out to us and uh, we'll get the solution for you. Um, these new inserts are actually stainless steel heat pressed in quarter 20 inserts. So they're a lot stronger. They're not the coils that go in. They are actually, they're very similar to like a wood insert, but these are heat pressed in. So they're actually pressed in with heat and it actually makes the plastic mold around the insert itself, which is a lot stronger. So similar profile, gusset's a little different, still a quarter of an inch. Um, and that's the first piece that you'll get to when you open the box. Now, the second and third pieces, these are your new prongs. And you'll notice that they're not like the previous prongs. The previous prongs were made out of 3 8 round rod. These are actually quarter inch by one inch flat bar. So what we've done is we've had these cut and then we bend them and we get them powder coated here at the shop. And then uh, they have quarter inch tapped holes here and then a solid drilled through hole here. And I'll show you how to put it all together here in a second. But let me explain why we went to this design versus the round rod. So the round rod was effective, it was efficient, and it was durable. Um, I know that we've had some <clears throat> people bend them, which is by design. They are made to flex a little bit, but we did have some customers that are a little rougher on stuff than most, which is fine, we get that. We're hard on, hard on stuff ourselves and we understand exactly you know, what you guys wanna put your motors through. So what we've done is we've beefed them up a little bit. Um, and now this new design that we've created being this flat bar design, they'll go on something similar to you know, that right there. So you're, you're a lot sturdier when you go and hit something, they're gonna give a little bit, but they won't give as much as the round rod and they're not gonna bend as easily. If you ever do bend or damage one, these are removable and we will have these available to purchase separately or obviously if it's a warranted issue, if it was you know defective and it failed when it shouldn't have, we will honor that as well. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together. So you start by taking the screws out of your profile clamp and to install this rock guard, you only need a 530 seconds Allen wrench because that's what all the screws are, they're the same. So we'll take these out. And then just like before, when you put this clamp on, you wanna be very careful not to get any part of your skin in this part of the clamp when you go to push it on because it will pinch you between this and the metal and it does hurt. I'm speaking from experience. So when you push it on, you wanna keep your hand open, kinda of wiggle it on and it pops on. Like I said, don't get your finger, your skin or anything in there because it will pinch you. After you do that, second part, you're gonna put this on. I do wanna go over right now that when you're installing this, if you put it on like that and you try to turn this prop, there's a very good chance it's gonna rub on this blade right here. Now, that's just the way it's designed because it's actually not all the way up on there yet. It'll draw up on there once we put these bolts in and draw this down, 
It's made so that it draws down tighter than the previous rock bars so we don't get that profile clamp sliding up and down the profile. So we just line these holes up. And then we want to get both bolts started before we start tightening them down. Oop. It's like every time I make a video, I'm dropping wrenches on the floor. So I got them both started and we're going to go ahead and draw it down. Make sure that this piece is pushed all the way down as far as it'll go. And if you notice the blade, you know, if it's rubbing the prop a little bit where it's pushed down too far, you can just pry up on it a little bit with the screwdriver to get the right clearance that you need. Sometimes when we bend them here at the shop, we might over bend them a little bit. All right. Once you get that fastened on there, this whole thing's not going anywhere. You want to grab both of your prongs and the bolts will already be in the one. So then you want to put the bolt through the prong that's just drilled out, through the gusset, and then line the hole up on the other side. Once you do that, get this bolt started. And the same as the profile clamp, you do not want to tighten that down yet. So you'll see both of these are still loose. You'll line up the holes, push your bolt through, and then get this started. And once you have them both started, you can go ahead and crank them down. All right, installation complete. Really quick and easy. I'll show you what this thing looks like on there. As you can see, these prongs now, they are straight and you're only getting the quarter inch side of that prong that's gonna be going through the water and causing a little bit of resistance. It's actually less resistance than the old rock guard, which is really nice. You won't really notice a difference at all, but there is less resistance than the old rock guard. And I'll show you from the back what it looks like with the prop. It's below the prop and it's wider than the prop. And also that stainless steel blade it's supposed to be pretty close like that. Keep those grass or that grass and those weeds off of your prop. So we're really excited to get it out there, share it with all of our customers. Um, we're always trying to improve something, make it a little bit more efficient, uh, easier to install or easier to replace parts on it. So I think we've accomplished that here and we're excited to hear your feedback on this product. As always, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one.